Hey time travelers, it's the Historical Oracle and today we're going to talk about Greenland. So you've probably noticed that Greenland is not so green, while Iceland, ironically enough, is not so icy. Well, there's a reason for that, and the reason is the salesman genius of one Eric the Red. Eric was a Viking explorer born in Norway in roughly 951 AD. When Eric was 10 years old, he accompanied his dad Torvald, who hightailed it out of Norway to Iceland after putting another Viking down for the big sleep. Some years later, Eric was exiled for the same thing because unaliving people ran in the family. That's very naughty, Eric. Basically, Eric Thralls somehow started a landslide on his neighbor's property because that's just a thing you do, I guess, and in retaliation, his neighbor killed the Thralls. So, Eric killed a neighbor, and Iceland was like, hey man, you gotta go. Your neighbor's farm is a little more important than the lives of these Thralls. Basically, nobody involved in this whole catastrophe was a stellar individual. Eric was exiled for three years following a council meeting called the Ting which is spelled like thing, and I wish it was pronounced that way, but it wasn't. Anyway, he got some people together, and they sailed to the southern tip of Greenland, landing in an area now called Cape Farewell. Although some people tried to settle there about a hundred years before, they weren't successful, probably because of all the ice making a rather unwelcoming atmosphere. But after a lot of miserable trudging, Eric found eventually some fertile areas amidst all the rocks and ice and was like, it's free real estate. So, our boy returns home with this idea, like, I'm gonna colonize and rule this place. He basically kicks off this advertising campaign, which goes a little something like this. Hey you! Yeah, I'm talking to you! Are you sick of Iceland? Does the ice make the green fields and hot springs not worth it? Are you sick of having to break through a layer of frozen water to spear a fish for supper? Well, have I found a place for you! Come to Greenland, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's got grass, rolling hills, fresh, clear water, miles and miles of green, fertile ground, and it's yours for the taking. Amenities include free Wi-Fi, a washer and dryer in every unit, and any other lie you want to hear. If you'd like to move to Greenland, contact Eric the Red today. One room's run for $1,200 a month, $1,300 if you bring a pet. Upon arrival, you will swear loyalty to Eric as your new lord. So, many Icelanders who had recently experienced a famine were naturally like, let's freaking go. And Eric filled 25 ships with people willing to follow him to this magical land of green and enough animals for farming. Unfortunately, 11 of these ships never made it. But the greater portion of the 500 initial people did, and they established a settlement under Eric there, who went from exile exileson to chieftain of Greenland. Funny enough, the current capital of Greenland, Newark, lies on the site of a settlement established by people who broke from Eric. Also, Eric's son was Leif Erikson of SpongeBob SquarePants fame. Vikings came across North America long before other European explorers. Anyway, that's all for today. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button and comment down below. And for more trips down memory lane, subscribe to the Historical Oracle. Thanks for watching!